Georgetown, Penang, Malaysia. The coexistence of cultural diversity at its finest, and visitors flock here annually to experience the rustic vibes. It's worth a visit, and there are things that you should do when you're here. I'm Kyle Lay, by the way, and that's Trevor James. Let's start off at the Thai Temple, which is across the street from the Burmese Temple. Both are worth a visit to catch a glimpse into a world of Theravada Buddhism. It's worth a stroll through and potentially prayer if you're spiritual, or if you're not familiar with the contemporary temples. It can be interesting, to say the least. And of course, everyone's gonna say something about eating and likely make it number one and the top thing to do, but I'm just gonna mention it here right now because I can't contain my excitement enough. With various countries and people coming together, food naturally will be brought over and assimilated to the land. Georgetown is a prime example of just how successful the migration of cuisine can be. The food here was stunning. I don't recall ever having a bad meal, only exceptional meals that made me want to go back and eat more of it. Actually, you can probably just stop the video here and cross out everything else in your itinerary. Just eat in Penang. The Indian food would be worth your plane ticket alone. And just eat and wait until the next meal. Naturally, Penang doesn't feel like an urban jungle, it's not like Kuala Lumpur. There's plenty of greenery around, and there's no other greener place than the botanic gardens. I'll admit that that day was particularly hot, but if you're still into plants and nature as much as Trevor here, then it's worth a walk through. But why walk when you can skip? Surely that will burn more calories and make you hungrier, faster. And of course, there's even more temples. Buddhism is quite prevalent here. And my absolute favorite thing about this place was the overstocked turtle pond. You can even feed them bread and yeah, they were pretty hungry. But besides that, this temple offers some of the most scenic and grand Buddha displays on the island. I'm sure at night the area is more serene and peaceful, but during the day it's special in its own right, and I wouldn't mind visiting again, even though I've been to many temples many many times throughout my travels. Wait a minute, food again on the same list in the same video? Are, are you surprised that eating and food is twice on this list? Is it because I just had too much footage and want to use it? Or is it because maybe I just want this video to be longer or I just ran out of ideas? No, absolutely not. Trevor and I both came here separately and met over food. The purpose of consuming foods that are impossible to find where we're at. I'm sure Trevor has access to some delicious Chinese food and I have plenty of access to delicious Vietnamese cuisine, but we don't get to eat like this every day. And what visit to a city would be complete without trying to soak in the views? And there's no better place in Penang than Penang Hill. To reach the top, you have to take a tram that inclines up. Similar to the ones in Hong Kong, the journey is quick and cheap. The views are stunning and there's some food options and I believe a museum up there too. But we didn't have much time for that. We were too busy taking Instagram photos. Of which you should follow us right now by the way. Follow us on Instagram right now. I promise there's way more food and stories than pictures of us. And of course, you're on an island after all, and no visit to an island would be complete without sand and sun, and water since it's a beach and all. But there's a few options in Penang, and they're all easily accessed via taxi. There are plenty of taxis all around, by the way. You can do water sports like parasailing or jet skiing, or just relax. Trevor and I had a pretty long day, and it was pretty heat intensive, and our bellies were full, so we were relatively at peace. That's gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching our channels. And we were only able to collaborate thanks to your support. What a crazy thought though, right? We were strangers at one time, far away, different backgrounds. Here we are together on a beach. YouTube brought us together. You guys brought us together. Thank you.
and be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos from Asia all the time. And check out Trevor James's channel too as he navigates his way through China and eats some of the most incredible dishes I've ever seen. And one day, hopefully with your support, I'm gonna eat food in China. Oh, hello. Um, so I'm in Penang, Malaysia right now and uh, it's actually 8 a.m. And uh, I just wanted to... Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Trevor James, the what's food ranger. On? Your head's kind of cut off, uh, so you should back up. <laughs> Here we are. Guys, okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go around and just show you our day uh, here in Penang. And we're going to start off with the Thai temple. Now. Something like that. Yeah. That was a good introduction, right guys? <laughs> 